What's up, y'all? This is Mrs. Steppy here. I'm here with Ari. Hi. She is going to show you guys how we can use these missing part flip cards to figure out what is the missing part. So the number represents what, Ari? The part or the whole? The part. No, the whole. The whole. And the dots represent the? Part. So we have to figure out what part would go with four to get us up to five. So Ari, that's probably easy for you, right? This one? So Ari, you know four. Let's do it. So how do we set this up so we can see you? Like this. Oh, better. She's helping me set up my YouTube channel too. Okay. Because I have my own too. She has her own. She's my co-producer. So Ari, I see four and what makes five? Four and then more makes five. Okay, so that one's easy. Now I have a whole of four. One and what makes four? Three. Okay. So now, what if I get one that's a little bit harder, like this? Well, okay, so um, if you don't know, like, what the other part is? Yeah, if you don't know what the other part is, then you could uh, do from 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that's 8 more. So she counted on from the part that she knew, so she knows 2, and you said, what's the other part that you counted on? Eight. Eight, and you said together that would make ten? Mm -hmm. Let's see if she's right, y'all. Were you right, Ari? Yeah. How do you know that's eight? Because four, this is four, mm -hmm. and this is another four, and four plus four is eight. Genius! Okay. Sorry. Let's do a few more, and then she has to go back to class. Uh, so I know that that's nine because six, seven, eight, nine, so one more will make ten. Let's see. She's correct. All right. This one should be easy for you. Two more. Okay. Six more. We only did this one time. She's getting too fast. I'm going to have to challenge you real quick. Uh-oh. Can I challenge you? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I need a whiteboard to challenge. What'd you tell them? Done. She's gonna be famous one day. So Ari, if I had to do uh, 10 minus four, how would I do that? So basically, what you could do is you could take 10 mm -hmm. and take away four, and that's six. Okay. I want to show you something else. Yeah. Remember how when we had the card, you started with the part of four mm -hmm. and you counted on? When I subtract, this is my whole. I start with my whole, right? And I take away part of that whole, which leaves me with the other part over here. So if you started with four and you counted on to ten, like how we did on the card, would, do you think you would still get six? Count on? Yeah, you start from the part, just like how we did on the card. Do you think you would still get six? Mm, yeah, no. You want to try it? Okay, so say four. Four. And then count on with your fingers like you did. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, nope, you don't put up the four because you already oh, have it, yeah. right? Okay, what do we get? Six. Oh, so you're saying that when I subtract, do you think this works all the time? You want to try another one? Yeah. Okay, let's try another one. Uh, let's put that one up. So we got that card. So that card kind of looks like 10. I want to know. Six. Okay, now we're saying if this works all the time, we could start at six and count up to 10 to find the missing part, right? Mm hmm Okay. Seven, eight, nine, 10. And then how much is on your fingers? Four. And what's underneath that flap on the card? Four. Oh! Try this. So, what do you show the camera? Seven. And what's the part that we know? Oh, wait. It is ten minus seven. Does it work? So, seven. Eight, nine, ten. What's the missing part? Three. Show them your face right now. <laughs> so, when you subtract, you don't even have to take away. You just count up from the missing part. I wonder if that works for bigger numbers. Hold up. Let's do one more. Testing time, testing time. Do you like it? You like the strategy? 
Ari, what if I had something like this? Do you think it would work for that? Uh, that yeah. So my part that I would be starting with would be? Eight. And then I'm going to go up to my nine, hole. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So what's that? Four. <coughs> if that's true, when I put eight and four back together, I should get what? Twelve. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Does it work? Yeah. No, yes. Let's just check. I'm going to do 12. 3, 4, 5, 6. 12 is 6 2 times, right? Mm -hmm. If I take out 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, what does that leave me with? 4. So my whole is 12. Instead of counting backwards, I can start at the part that I know, which is 8. Count up 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm counting up those 4, so it must be 4. Ooh. That's pretty nifty since I don't have 12 fingers. Now we, we need no more toes in math class. Say no more toes in math class, Ari. No more toes in math class. Peace out. We'll see you next time. Bye.